Hello looking family! Student Picture Day with Life Touch is coming and whether you're new to this or have done it before, this guy is going to help you whether now in 2324 or in the future. You can skip ahead to only what applies for you, but just know that first we're going to cover information that everyone should know, and then we're going to go over online ordering and then end with paper orders. So starting with the fact that there are two sessions, normally one in the fall which is individual pictures, and then the spring could be individual only, could be classroom only pictures, or both. We'll let you know when it comes to the spring what to expect. But normally there is a makeup day for absences, but for the case of of January 24th, 2024, there is no makeup day. There should be in the future, but for this one, no. Now, that means it's important to pay attention because we don't want anybody's orders to be messed up or returned. Online orders are strongly recommended, especially with an email address and creating a LifeTouch account. That's the best way to view your order history. And if any problems arrive, you have your confirmation. We really recommend going it that way. Now, paper envelopes are to be turned in only on picture day if you want to go the route of cash, check, or money order, and no changes available for cash payments. All students are going to get their picture taken for the student system, the registry, so purchasing pictures is not mandatory, but if you want them, you pay for them, and then all students who have a picture taken will receive a proof, and it arrives at the school first. Those who have orders will get the proof plus their prints to go home. Now, the correct spelling of the student's first and last name per the birth certificate is super important. No nicknames, preferred names, middle names. It's got to be how they were registered and what's on the birth certificate. No discount for multiple student households. So if you have three or four kids, unfortunately, you just have to tally up the price for every single student. Now, if you're ordering online, there are discounts sometimes available, so that can help you. But for paper envelopes, that's not the case. Now, late purchases, like if you change your mind, so if you don't plan on getting pictures and then you see the proof and you're like, oh, I like this, I want to get it, you can do that. You have up to 11 months and you got to do it only online though. No paper envelopes for that. Any extra envelopes or flyers that we have will be available on the table in front of the school office. And for picture day, January 24, 2024, we uh, fell just a little bit short. Uh, so if you need another paper envelope or didn't get one and got a flyer for online instead, we'll have those available by latest Monday, January 15th. Now, for all orders that you must first purchase and select a photo package before moving on to the optional add-ons and enhancements. We'll go over that in more detail, but do not skip that first step. Okay, that's very important. A lot of people do skip that and they think they can just get something cheaper. That's only an add-on when you move on. Now, on the community board across the front office near the elevator, you'll find the picture day guy with the links and the QR code to this video in English and Spanish. But right next to it is a copy of the online ordering flyer for anybody who wants to write down or scan the information. That's for anybody to see. Now, what you need for online ordering is the electronic payment information. They take credit card, Venmo, PayPal, your email address, the picture day ID, picture day ID that's correct for the picture day. So make sure you look at the paper envelope at the below at the bottom. That's the top of the envelope, and it has the code that starts with the letter E. That's the picture day ID, and it, the flyer will easily tell you what day it corresponds to. So in the future, when there's a makeup day or an original day, you want to make sure you're doing it for the right day because there'll be envelopes for different flyers for different dates. And then just visit mylifetouch.com. And when you get there, this is going to be how the main page looks, whether it be a mobile view or desktop. First things first, if you want to change the language, just scroll down to the very bottom. This is a new feature where you can see change language, and then you can select English or Spanish. Um, but in the top right corner of the desktop view, you're going to see the sign in if you already have an account. Most of you probably won't, so you'll be creating an account. If you're on a mobile view, just click the universal menu icon, which is the three horizontal bars, and then that'll take you to what this looks like right here, where you can either sign in or create an account. Then you'll it'll ask you for your email address and then your information as the parent and your password. And then you'll be brought back to the main page where you just put in the picture day ID and then ignore student ID. We don't need that. Just do the picture day ID. And then you're going to put in your child's name. I just made up a name here and uh, the grade, not the age, but the grade. That's really important. And select what your relationship is to the student. And then you're going to see the different packages that you can actually order from there. So just scroll down and if you see expand for details, click on that because then you'll see more information visually as to what that particular package entails. You can select to choose it or it might say to personalize it, customize it. And then when it's added to your cart, it'll tell you and it might throw a last minute offer at you or reduce the price for something else. There's always going to try to find ways to get you to spend more money. You can click no thanks or just close out that notice um, and you can keep shopping for more. You can scroll down and see what other add-ons and gifts they have or you can just click done shopping and click on your cart too but keep an eye on this blue banner up top because it might have a coupon like in this case you can see here it has an expiration time and date so make sure you jot down that code because you'll need it at the end during your checkout process if you want to apply and that'll help you if you have multiple children 20% off if you've got three kids that actually is a big help and that's not something you see on a paper envelope order 
So when you scroll down and you're looking at your cart, you'll see a summary of everything you have. In this case, I, I tr tried to get a basic package, which was just $20. That's the minimum you're going to commit to. Anything that they throw at you last second, any enhancements, you can say no thanks. And you might have to hit the dial next to no thanks if you don't want it, because it might not le let you proceed or check out if you do if you don't do that. So make sure you keep an eye out for those things and just select that. It won't it, it won't force you to order it. It'll just not force you to not continue if you don't say no. And so then you're going to have a space to put the coupon code in and apply it to update your total if you have one. And if it's valid, uh, you can shop for another student, so for additional siblings of a household. And you can just check out then when you're done and submit your payment, your electronic payment. And this is a sample confirmation email with your order confirmation number and details about the corresponding picture day. And then support is not really that helpful through them. So we'll help you if need be. But there is a number that you can call if you want order status information. You'll need your confirmation number. And there is a chat support. It might be a bot or AI, not that helpful. So you can try it if you want. But just look for a little chat icon at the bottom um, of any page. You'll see there. This is the desktop view in the left right and then on the left it's the mobile view is what it looks like at the bottom now to review make sure you have the correct picture day ID and then don't turn anything on picture day if you're doing an online order you need nothing just the child and their smiling faces and their cute outfit that's all they need no paper envelope that's blank or with a note no order confirmation number written down or print out just nothing just their name and they'll look it up and they'll be good use the correct names that's why it's very important and you'll get your order confirmation not only sent to you via email but it'll appear on your last screen of your order so you can write it down too uh, paper envelopes, this is what you need. You need the child's homeroom teacher, your phone number, email address. Cash is strongly not encouraged, it's discouraged, but you can do cash. The reason why cash is not the best option is because it tends to disappear. People can feel and see cash. A lot of students themselves will take it, and I've seen this in other schools too, and then they'll lie about what happened to it. So to avoid that, just use a check or money order and make it payable to LifeTouch. That'll be the easiest thing you can do. And if you don't know where to get money orders around here, if you don't have a banking account or checking account, this, the Cash Depot across the street in the shopping center offers them for 59 cents under $1,000. All you do is pay that extra in cash, and then there you go. You have basically have a temporary check that you can make payable to LifeTouch. And then calculator, or use the calculator app on your smartphone for calculating sales tax. This is what the paper envelope looks like. So make sure again in the upper left that it's the right day, and then just choose what you want. On the right, it's the actual envelope that you're going to detach and seal when you're done. This is a close-up of the information that it's going to ask for you at the top about your student and yourself. Make sure you choose a package from number one. So if I wanted two basic packages, I'd put number two here to multiply that. And now I'd put 40 in the subtotal if I bought nothing else. Now, if you do add more, you're just going to have to tally it all in the subtotal and then multiply by 0 0.06 to get your 6% sales tax. And then add the tax with the subtotal to get your final total here and write that in there in that box. Now, you only need to write and put a letter in each box here of your child's first name if you buy something that has two asterisks, because that includes the option to have your child's name and grade printed on the photos. That's an extra optional serv uh, extra service. Here are some common calculations for tax if you find them useful for various things. And then um, to review paper envelopes, make sure, again, you use the correct picture day ID and envelope. And then make sure you have the name correct for the child. For siblings, keep the orders and payments separate. I know it seems tedious to have separate checks or money orders, but that's what you have to do. If you try to combine them into one child and leave the other ones blank, you're going to probably have your picture either done incorrectly, somebody's going to miss a picture, it'll be returned to you. Just avoid that problem to begin with. And close the payment, seal the envelope, and turn it in only on picture day to the homeroom teacher or have the child turn it into the teacher. Not any day sooner. There's no change for cash. Once again and make sure they make checks and money orders payable to life touch and that's it if you have any questions ask for mr castro or you can reach out to mr castro directly you can stop by the office and ask and we're happy to help